Today we are again on the Mount of Olives where we are talking about Jesus and his great commission, the command that he gave to his disciples to go into all the world to make disciples of all nations, baptizing and teaching everyone what he had taught them. We're back in the church to consider the blessings that we have received from Jesus through his disciples and the faithful ministry that has happened for many, many, many generations in the church that have brought us into God's family. So we read from Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20, the great commission that Jesus left with his disciples. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. So we have our baptismal font here uh, before us because in the waters of holy baptism, God comes to us. I'm sure that you've seen many baptisms, and in those baptisms, we hear the pastor speaking. We see the water poured over the head or the person immersed in the water. And in that great act, it isn't a pastor's work. It isn't the work of the parents or the child. It is the very work of God because Jesus tells us right here in this passage that we make disciples by baptizing people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Also doing this video behind the lectern. This is the place where the Word of God is read in all of our worship services in our traditional space. The Word is the tool that God uses to create faith in His people. Whether it is spoken, whether it is the printed Word like that which I just read to you, whether it is the Word that is delivered to you in the waters of holy baptism, or if it is the Word joined with the bread and wine of holy communion, it is the Word that God uses to make disciples. And that is the work of the church, it's the work of all of us Christians. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to wear a stole or an olive or a fancy cross on your chest to do the work of the Lord. You can participate in this great commission. As a matter of fact, you are commanded to participate in this work because you are a child of God. God has given you his word as a gift, a gift that gives you forgiveness and life and salvation and every good thing you get to share those gifts with others when you share the word with them. You can do that at home, you can do that on the playground, you can do it at school, you can do it wherever you are simply by telling somebody how much God loves them and telling them what Jesus has done for them through his life, death, and resurrection. And so I want to encourage you this week to find one person that may or may not know the good news of God's love and just tell them Jesus loves you because you never know. Those little words may actually land somebody in heaven if God uses them to bless them with saving faith. Please pray with me. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for telling us how you work and making disciples through your word and through baptism and through worship and through preaching and teaching in so many ways that your word comes to us. May you so bless us with your Holy Spirit that we will be bold to proclaim you, sharing the life and the love and the forgiveness that we have received from you with others as we share your word with them. And in your most holy name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Click the icon to subscribe or explore more of our video lessons on our channel.